jump. What? I had to sneak and jump? <sighs> hey everyone, welcome back to Super Mario 64, but different. This time I wanted to go back to the first level, the bomb battlefield, because we only got one of the two stars. Um, I actually didn't disobey the directions we were given, so I want to fire it back up, dive back in, and actually see what happens when we make it to the top and we ignore the warning signs. So here we go, firing back up, back into the uh, the dark lands. Also, you know, I didn't explore out here completely either. I'm gonna go over here and see what happens. Can we swim? Can we walk on water? Okay, yes, we can walk on the water. It's so dark. <laughs> Can I? Oh, I can scale this. Oh, I think I just killed myself. Where did I go? Wait, oh, I respawned. Okay, anyways, we'll go back. We'll just go inside, grab our flashlight. Here we go, flashlight. I do want to check out over there. Um, Maybe another time. We're going to go ahead and rush to the bomb battlefield. Now, someone corrected me, this is the Resident Evil door animations, <laughs> not the Luigi's Mansion, the one I said kind of at the time. My bad. So we're going to go into here. Going to speed run this. <laughs> not really, but. Come on. Okay. And we're going to jump back in. So I know from last time, obviously, if we go off the path, we're going to die. Um, I'm not sure to what extent that happens. Um, I'm going to try going, if I can actually find my bearings, um, off the path a little bit. Like, I'm curious what's underneath here. Ooh. I actually, that was weird. <laughs> Hail Bowser. Ha! Huh. Okay, so that's interesting because that means there's probably going to be lots of little rewards like that. Um, if you want to call them rewards, more so just Easter eggs or things we can find. Okay, I'm back to the start. Let's try this again. I know you loop off here. I am going to go over here and see if the chain chomp kills me. I feel like if the chain chop is going to kill me, I'll start hearing it. Huh. Okay, let's see. I'm up on top of the hill. Weird, this seems a lot less shorter than usual. Oh no, I almost died. <laughs> Anything back here besides death? Anything at all? No? Maybe? Looks like there's nothing. Now that Goomba was a, a pretty cool discovery. I actually had no idea that was there. Is there anything in this little... Am I gonna die if I fall in here? Nope. Alright, let's check out the Chain Chomp. So look, the Chain Chomp straight in the eye. Last time I did not do that because I didn't want to die. So... Oh yeah, I got a sneak, that's right. I hear the chain chomp. Oh wow, that's really cool. <laughs> so the chain chomp is right there. So we're actually gonna sneak up here and get a close up of this bad boy. He's just chilling there breathing. Okay, that's weird. So I touched him. Now it's just going to show the probably the death animation. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I wanted to actually jump on top of him, but it looks like as soon as you touch him, then you just die. Okay, so we're going to power through this now. 
and sprint all through here sneak through here I'm snaking I'm snaking Jump. What? I had to sneak and jump? <sighs> okay. Well, I think I could have sworn I just. Last time I just sprinted. I guess we'll just sneak that entire time. Just to be safe. Can I even make the jump if I'm snaking? All right, almost to the gate of the mountain. But I, once again, I want to check to see if there's anything down by the puzzle switch. Um, so there's like normally a little switch you hit to open up the gates below. Let's see if there's anything down there. Like another Easter egg, maybe another Goomba. Hopefully I won't die. I'll be upset if I die, because I gotta do that again. <laughs> but let's see. Here's the ramp. Huh. They just filled it in. Interesting. Okay. So there's actually nothing we can do with that. Well, to my understanding, anyways, there's nothing that we can do with that. Go ahead and go up here. I still don't know if, like, you had to sneak the whole way. Which sucks because I would love to do this faster, but I'm afraid I'm just it's just gonna kill me. And then I have to do all that again. Should be a jump scare right here, if I remember correctly. Yep, you have a choice. What is my choice? Oh, I'm gonna actually just walk across this this time. I think the sign said last time it actually didn't matter. I am stuck. There we go. Another boo, another message. Maybe not. Now the choice is, it does not want me to go to the top. Um, normally anyway, so it wants me to get inside the warp. Find another way. It wants me to go in here, that teleports to the top, you actually get the official star. I wanna go for the star, the, the dark star. So, this is the path I didn't take last time. So I don't know if I can die. I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen. It's not that far to the top though. Oh, I think that's King bob -omb. Oh geez, okay, this is a cutscene. I warped? Do I have a flashlight? Is my flashlight? My flashlight is on. Weird. Okay. Why is King Babam so far away? What's this sign say? I'm sorry, Mario. I know. I should have put the spawn point closer to King Babam. Okay. Let's just waltz on up to him. Well, if we probably won't die, I'm gonna sprint. To this other sign. We are really far away. Don't worry, you're almost there. Thanks, sign. Oh, this is weird. Why is King Babama in a cage? Okay, now time for the fun part. You get to kill him. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, oh, he's above lava. Interesting. He's just T-pose inside of a cage. I can't walk over here. Can I jump over here? Can I? Nope. All right, I guess we are going to lower King bob into the lava, send him to the Shadow Realm. 
No! King of Bomb, I knew you well! Huh. Okay. Kind of anticlimactic. That cage looks like the, uh, the ones from the Bowser, uh, Sea of Fire, though. Oh, and there is our star. Wherever that's at, that looked like it was really high in the sky. Oh, it's way back there. Time to sprint. I don't think there's anything else over here. Nope. We're sprint back here. Hopefully we don't die. And we're going to grab our well-deserved star. Sweet! <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> I think we're back in the... Yeah, we're back in the castle. Oh geez, the, the painting changed. So that is the uh, the path I didn't take last time. Um, pretty interesting, you actually sacrifice King Babam, send him to the Shadow Realm, dip him into some fire. So something that's kind of neat is I think the developer is actually going to continue this game. They saw my video, they saw other YouTubers' videos of the game, and they're kind of filled with hope, <laughs> you know, to, to keep producing it. When you're making games and you're in a bubble and you don't think anyone's going to play it, it's kind of uh, discouraging. But after seeing those videos, I think they're actually going to com continue with the game. So we'll see what comes out in the future chapters. I'm really looking forward to it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this Kingdom Bomb sacrifice. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, everyone. If you didn't check out my first two episodes of Super Mario 64 by Different, you can find them on the channel or there's probably going to be one on screen right now. Uh, just give it a click.